Hey guys, Alex Sturgeon here for the Hobbytown Hobbyplex. I am in uh, full ponytail mode. I don't know if I've ever done one of these with, a, with an actual ponytail, but here I am. Uh, all right, enough about me. Let's move on and check out all the new products that we got in for about the past month. We started to do these about once a month now so we could gather enough stuff to do a proper video. Uh, let's see, first things first. Uh, it's not necessarily a new item, but it's been a while since they've been in stock and since we've had them. So it's gonna make the show here. This is the uh, J Concepts Rupture. One nine. If uh, if you look on the Sorka list of um, band tires, I believe the J Concepts ruptures are still on it. Uh, however, they do work incredibly good, which is probably why they're on the band list. So we got them in. Some guys were asking for them, so now they're here. Uh, we've had these actually for almost the entire summer since they've been out, but they're the Blue Compound um, uh, Reaction Plus. Not Reaction Plus. Good lord. Uh, they're the blue compound reaction tires. Um, we're about halfway through summer now and, and drag season has uh, has been going strong and I don't think I've ever mentioned it in any of our shows so I just thought I'd grab them and throw that in there. Um, we got in this cool lipo voltage detector uh, tester from Avid and uh, I might have actually talked about that one before but whatever we'll let it go but it's really cool it plugs into like your uh, shorty packs and stuff gives you the voltage if you don't want to have to take it out of your car and or plug in any other wires into it, whatever you want to do. Uh, we got in these new 2200 um, Gen's Ace packs. And I believe why we got these in is because they should fit, they should fit into like a Latrax um, style car with that. Any, anytime you need that side battery, I'm pretty sure that's why we got these in. Just another option for you guys. Set that off to the side. Uh, okay, I thought this was pretty cool, and it's getting close to our 8th scale season, so that is the uh, universal 1-8 uh, scale switch eliminator. So basically, um, um, it's just like a plug. So instead of having an on-off switch, which um, sometimes when you're racing a nitro car, if you have an actual on-off switch, you can either A, get really hot and go bad, um, or malfunction in some other way. Um, a lot of guys use electronic switches. Well, another way that you can do it is just by having this, um, this kill plug on here. So you wire it in line and then that guy plugs into that and gives you power and then when you're done racing you can unplug it you won't have any power and you don't have to worry about it coming off in the middle of the race hopefully so um kind of a unique product uh clinic has been coming out with some pretty cool new stuff and we've been carrying some of it here i know my son's been really big on uh, some of their mini b and mini t stuff which we don't have any right now but we had so uh we'll get some back in it'll probably make the next show um what else did I get in that was really cool? Oh, 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 hot racing. Okay, this has been on back order for a little while. Here is an overdrive transmission for the SCX24. So you get those front wheels spinning faster than the rear wheels, so it'll turn better, better. it'll uh, crawl better. Um, it's a little pricey, but, uh, but it does give you overdrive, which is really cool. And uh, probably the best way to do crawling, really, is have overdrive in the front. Well, obviously overdrive would be in the front, but you know what I mean. Uh, some new tires, one inch tires from Hot Racing also. I saw they were in stock and 24 scale tires are pretty cheap. So I got them in. Just another uh, another compound and another tread pattern for you guys to check out. Uh, we got in the brand new EcoPower 120 and 110 S servos. So they're a little bit faster than the T version. And uh, it's just another option for you guys. We really like to uh, do the 110s for almost any ready to run that gets broken. So let's say an Arma 3S or a Mega or a Traxxas car. Uh, everything but a Stampede two-wheel drive and a Fortec can take one of these servos. And uh, pretty much every Arma one can also take these as well. The 120s we usually give to guys who break uh, some of the more bigger cars like the, the uh, Creighton 6S, the new Creighton 4S's when they come out. We'll probably give people the 120s when they break their stock servos. Uh, Gen Zace, we've been uh, getting more and more of their stuff. This is their one of their new drag batteries, so a hard cased uh, 6100, 130C. Um, motor spray. Motor spray has been out for like a year, and we finally got all of our distributors all of a sudden got in motor spray at the same time. So now we are loaded up with motor spray for the time being. Motor spray is usually used now not really to clean motors because you don't really need to do that with brushless motors, but it uses, uh, it cleans your cars. It uh, uh, washes the residue off of metal parts. So when you want to use thread lock, you got to have motor spray for that. 
Uh, the new 8X uh, 2.0. It's uh, nitro and electric in one box. It has the new body. It has a whole bunch of the new features and stuff. Obviously, Dakota Fen has been out there ripping everybody to shreds with uh, with 8X. So and we got that in. Again, our 8-scale season kind of starts in October and runs through March, so we'll have that available. All right, now we're going to run through these kits. Uh, the TRX-6, this is the, uh, the Ultimate RC Hauler. Um, Traxxas kind of surprised everybody with that. I believe they actually had this in a previous version um, they do they do certain things for like snap-on and kawasaki and stuff um, where you've seen those those like monster energy cars on ebay and, and stuff like that that's from that's from like a, a prize given to to uh to those companies either for their employees or maybe for their customers and stuff so i think this was actually a snap-on truck uh, before they just came out with the generic uh, black version but uh, a lot of hype around this thing because a lot of guys like to get these and and put a car on top of it and then you can hook up a trailer to it and pull like a boat or something like that. Speaking of boats, uh, we got the Recoil 2 in from Pro Boat, the Shreddy, and uh, it's a ready to run deep V, it's 26 inches long, 369. Um, do need to get batteries separately, but uh, um, still, boats have been really good for us. Okay, this is super cool and one of the reasons why I wanted to get the What's New Wednesday done today was because we got these in. This is the uh, FCX24. Uh, we got in the blue and the red colors. These are portal axle 24 scale crawlers. So it's uh, super rad. And I believe that all the SCX, uh, SCX24 wheels and tires also can go on these. So um, there's already a little bit of uh, alteration you can do but uh, yeah finally got these in um, they showed up at one of our distributors and I'm like click 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 because I wanted to get them in right and the price $149.99 it's not really that bad okay uh, drifting has uh, has been pretty steady here at our store when well, we've had the wheels and tires for a while and holy crap I forgot the wheels and tires hang on So we got in some new drift wheels that I was going to put with this when I got to this part and I totally forgot. So I went over there and grabbed them. So this is just a smidgen of what we got. We got, we got full sets of like 20 something different colors. Okay. So this is going to be great. Um, but anyways, what I was going to say was, uh, this is the, uh, the RMX 2.0 ready to runs. So we have a couple different bodies. Um, we got the R32, um, I believe. What is that, Cameron? I don't know what that is either. Ah, ah, it's gonna kill me. I think it's a Nissan, but I might be wrong. If you're new to this, I'll just say I know absolutely nothing about real cars. I know everything about RC cars, but not real cars. Anyways, um, what's cool about these is they actually test them at their own factory uh, drift site, so you know that they've been that they work. You can when you open it up, you can actually see the wheels have been used. So um, we had we had one person sort of freak out on us when we sold one of these and uh, we had to explain that in fact they test each and every single one of these and the guy was like mm. but it says right on the box right there test an MSC, MST station inner track see they, they actually test each one of these to make sure they're different. anyways we've been selling the bejesus out of these ready to run so uh, I wanted to get them in the, here just while we actually had them in stock okay more on-road car st type stuff so the E10 touring car from HPI we got in um, we've actually had this in for a couple weeks. Um, so it's their E10 platform with the super cool body on it. Uh, we got in the Team Associated Apex 2 Hoon again. I did an unboxing on this one because we got it in awfully quick. I thought it was going to be on back order for a bit, but it showed up like right away. And then we got in the Sprint 2, or Sport 3, I'm sorry, Sport 3 Drift from HPI uh, with the Mustang body. See, I know that's a Mustang, all right? I'm not, I'm not completely daft, right? We have had in the infraction uh, three uh, BLX three cell. So when uh, they came out with these, you had the Vendetta and then you had the infraction. And the infraction was brushed and the Vendetta was brushless and people were like, hey man, we want the infraction brushless. So Horizon did it, they came out with their infraction and brushless. I think that does it for RC cars. <sighs> That's a lot of stuff. Okay, models, this is super cool. So I was gonna include it. 
Um, we got in a couple different Batmobiles from Bandai. So we got in the Batman one uh, from the newest movie. And then we got in the OG Batmobile from the Tim Burton Batmans. Um, which is just super rad. I, I need to get these. My brother-in-law is a big Batman fan, so um, I'll probably end up trying to build these for him for like Christmas or something like that. I just, uh, I haven't actually seen this one yet, which I feel sort of dumb, but I'll see it eventually. But this one, there's just so many lines from that movie. Like, have you ever danced with the devil by the pale moonlight? Or he, that was the original one where you had him, where he's holding the guy and he's like, who are you? And he goes, I'm Batman. And then, and then like lets them hang or whatever and and uh anyways my heart of hearts says that this is the coolest batmobile we've ever had but i gotta say this one's pretty freaking sweet so is the tumbler from the dark knight trilogy i don't know it's hard to choose okay stepping back into gi joe um we got in some more of um uh, of their models I, I i don't think it's bandai doing these um it's fl uh, flame? Yeah, flame. But anyways, um, Storm Shadow, and you got the Speed Cycle, which I believe goes with the other guy, Snake Eyes, I think. Um, we've had a couple guys build these and bring them on our uh, Bandai Nights on the second and fourth Thursday of every month, and uh, they look really sharp. They look really good. Same thing. These guys are doing Transformers. So there's uh, Devastator and... You know, okay, here's the thing. I'm gonna have to look because everybody knows Bumblebee, right? Because of the movies and all that stuff now. So all these kids that weren't familiar with, with Bumblebee, but I'm pretty sure that Devastator was actually the five, like, construction equipment vehicles that turned into one. It was basically just a way for them to sell us more toys in the 80s. So you would buy these five and then you could put them together and then you would have your Devastator. So uh, I think they did one with like jets as well. Oh, animals. They did one with animals too. At one time they had a, uh, these five dinosaurs that you could get and I think they put together and make one giant transformer. Anyways, uh, we got in some new paints from Mission Models. I just brought a little assortment over here, but there's a whole rack. We're talking like another hundred SKUs of paint, so our paint selection is getting even better. We've had the Citadel paints from uh, Games Workshop, now we got the Mission Models, now we've got Vallejo, uh, of course we've had Testers, Tamiya, um, all those. Our Lego selection is getting a lot better, we're getting a lot more of the Technic uh, stuff as well, um, as well as just regular Lego sets. Uh, we almost have a whole aisle now dedicated to Lego, so a lot of the harder to find ones and again i brought out the batman one because why not it's got the, apparently we have a theme going on here not a big i feel like i feel like back in the day i used to do legos all the time but but i don't think i do legos now like like i'd rather build this than than this personally but i know that kids still love legos which is great as they should i used to trade legos like i used to trade legos for gi joes and stuff when i was a kid like i'd build something and then i call my buddy and be like hey i built this do you want to trade but that was before phones so you, my friend actually had to come over to my house and actually look at it before he made a decision instead of just you know snapping him or something like that anyways uh we've got some uh busts so again we're, t we're on the uh gunplay gundam sort of uh line of of uh of items here this is pretty cool. It's got LED lighting, full detail with LED lighting unicorn bust model. There's not an actual unicorn in here. This is what they call, uh, I believe, the the mechanized unit that that's supposed to be. I hope I'm saying that right, because otherwise in the comments, some some Bandai guy is going to be like, you son of a, how dare you, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, uh, Minecraft magnetic travel puzzle. I just saw this. I don't know if... Minecraft is a huge thing anymore. My son's 15 now, so he's kind of grown out of Minecraft, but I, I'm pretty sure there's still lots of kids out there playing Minecraft, um, just based on the YouTube videos that I see, right? Um, but this is a travel puzzle. So get him off of the device, you know, the iPad or whatever, and actually have him, um, you know, open this up and, and it's magnetic and you've got challenges and there's different levels from beginner to expert, so. There you go, that's pretty cool. And then finally, 
and I feel really dumb about this, but uh, somehow we ended up with WWE toys. It's WWE now, not F, right? I don't know. I don't really pay attention that much anymore. Okay, this guy, no, Undertaker. I'm pretty sure he just retired, right? Yeah. He's all tatted up. He's got the beauty. Like, I wish I could do that, but I can't. Um, and then there's this guy. And I gotta be honest with you, I have no idea who this guy is. So, I'm sorry, uh, Roman Reigns. But, uh, I don't know, he looks pretty beefcakey. He's also tatted up. Apparently, that's the thing you gotta do now. And he's got the combat boots. And... We also have this guy over there. So, we have all three of these uh, from Mattel. They're only 10 bucks. And uh, you know what these are really good for? Is uh, crawling. Put them in, in your uh, crawler so that you get those extra scale points for having the dude inside of your cab. That guy. Oh my gosh, and then I, I brought this out because this is a Metal Slug X little uh, model model tank from Metal Slug, right? I used to have Neo Geo Pocket back when I was really into video games. I used to work at a video game store in the 90s, and uh, I used to have like every single console at the time, and one of them that I had was a Neo Geo Pocket. And almost out of all the consoles that I've ever owned, that's the one that I wish I would have kept. There was only like three or four games available for it. It was way ahead of its time because it was color and it was fast. It didn't have a lot of lag and stuff. And Metal Slug was one of the games that was on it. And I wish I wish I wasn't poor back then because I had to I had to trade it in. And uh, yeah, what a bummer. But I can make the model and I can reminisce, right? You got those member berries flowing. Okay, that's all we got. It's uh, kind of a long one, but we got to learn a lot of stuff this month, and uh, hopefully you guys uh, are able to come in and buy this stuff. So, get her done. Make sure that you subscribe, like, tell your friends, and we will make another video for you soon.